everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this week's video, something really interesting happened in California. In fact, it's something that doesn't happen very often. And that is water started to fall from the sky. I know, it looks like the end of the world to us Californians. Fortunately, I've lived in other states like Oregon and Washington where I'm way more accustomed to rain. However, given the fact that drivers around here really aren't, I'm not too excited about taking the GTR out this week. I'm also not that excited in doing any major project where I'm gonna be out here for an extended period of time, which means this is the perfect week to finally do a project I've been wanting to do for a while, but just always put off because there's either something more exciting happening or just bigger projects I wanna do. And that is, this week I wanna do the vinyl wrap on the center console of the GTR. This is a great week to do this because, well, it's only going to take me a few moments to get the plastic out of the car, and then I get to work for the rest of the time in my apartment where there's a heater and it's dry. So I'm going to walk you through what you need to do if you want to carbon fiber vinyl wrap your center console. Before we get started with this video, I feel there's something I should let you know before we get started, and that is I've actually never vinyl wrapped anything before. This is going to be my first time. So if you're watching this video and this is something you have experience with and you see me doing anything wrong or there's a way to do it better, go ahead and post in the comment section down below. Go ahead and straighten me out as well as let the rest of the community know that way if they decide to do this project as well, they can avoid any of the pitfalls that I particularly make. Now that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and take you through the equipment that I'm gonna be using on this particular job. We're gonna start off with, of course, the carbon fiber vinyl wrap. I am using one from a company called Vivid. From what I understand, this is supposed to be a very good vinyl wrap. It's very, very durable. It's also very forgiving for beginners. It has air channels built into the adhesive side, so it's much more easier to push air bubbles out. And so, because I'm a beginner, I figured this is a great film to start off with. The other thing that I picked up was a set of tools used for vinyl wrapping. Now, I'm not gonna pull these out of the box because I'm outside. You'll see everything once we get into the apartment. But this has got like razors and it's got squeegees and various other things to just kind of help you work with the vinyl without damaging it. Another thing that I picked up is actually this right here is called Wrap Attack. This isn't something that you need to have, but it sounded like a good idea to me. Now, with a name like Wrap Attack, it sounds like it's an adhesive promoter. From what I understand is it's not. What this does is you spray this on the piece before you vinyl wrap it, and what it does is allow the vinyl to kind of slide into position if I need to reposition it or pull it off. Because without this, it's gonna be dry. As soon as it makes contact with the piece, it's gonna to wanna to stick right away. So this should make positioning the wrap on the piece a lot easier, especially because I'm working with a carbon fiber print, which means there's a grain. I may want it to face a certain direction, and I don't want it to be all crooked, so this could possibly help me with that in the future. Now, there's actually a piece of equipment that I didn't bring out here with me. And it's something that if you have a live-in girlfriend or married, you probably have. But if you're a single guy, you might have to go out and get, and that is a hair dryer. Now, yeah, I could use a heat gun. In fact, it's probably even preferable to use a heat gun. I just don't have one yet, and I'm not sure how much vinyl wrapping I'm gonna do, so I'm not sure if I can justify going out and buying one. So I'm gonna use the hair dryer, and hopefully that works just fine. Also, there's a set of tools that I ordered up, but for some reason the order got messed up and they're just not coming now, so I'd have to reorder them and I just don't wanna wait. And that is interior trim removal tools. Highly recommended to protect your interior when you're taking it apart and protecting your tabs, as well as your plastics from getting damaged. Now, that being said, like I said, I don't wanna wait, so I'm gonna use a couple of things you may actually have in your apartment or your house, and that is simply a spoon and a knife. I know what you're thinking. I'm not eating the car, but I will show you how these are used. Someone else showed me this trick, so I'll show you when we get inside the car. Now, as per with all my other videos where I show you how to do any type of work on any car, if you go to the description down below, I will have links to all of this equipment. So if this is something that you wanna do to your car, all you have to do is look at that list, and if there's something you're missing, you just click on the link, order it up, and you'll be good and be good to go when it's time to actually do the project on your own car. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dig in and get that plastic off the center console. So here is the before shot of the center console. 
And as you can see, it's starting to show its age. It's got some paint chips here and there. But the biggest thing for me is if you look at the stereo system here, it has a carbon fiber design already, and it kind of comes into this plastic. So I think it'll round out the interior very nicely to make that a matching carbon fiber look. So now I'm gonna show you how to get this all apart. First, you have to remove these side pieces, and then this should go ahead and lift right out. So the first part is the scary part, and that is getting this off. Now this is where the spoon's gonna come into place. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and push the spoon, and you just kinda push it right in there, fits, and you just kinda lift out gingerly. So as you can see, it's coming out. And then just kind of grab right here. I'm trying not to break any of the tabs. And just gently, I'm gonna continue to use the spoon very gently to see if I can't just clear those clips. And out it comes no damage to anything so there you go the spoon technique works if you don't have the actual trim removal tools all right now time to do the other side just gently kind of push in to get past the plastic side came out a lot easier you know what I'm thinking though I'm debating should I carbon fiber wrap these two I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm not sure if it'd be overkill too much carbon fiber because to me I believe carbon fiber should be more of an accent than it is the main event but I'm heavily considering it go ahead and post in the comment section down below let me know what you think because if I carbon fiber wrap those I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this little guy out too and I'll carbon fiber wrap all of those but for this video, I'm just gonna stick to the center console. Now that the uh, side piece plastics are out, time to get the actual main piece out. You need to make sure your e-brake is up. You want to go ahead and open up your center here, and then go ahead and open up your cup holder. And you just wanna kind of start gently trying to pry this up. It should be done with just Like I said, this is where having interior trim removal tools would be invaluable. This must be the first time anyone's taken off the center console because the clips are plenty tight. There we go. All right, free and clear. Now, before we head into the apartment to wrap this, I wanna take a look at the grain of the vinyl wrap as well as the grain of the carbon fiber on the stereo the reason why is i've seen other people have done this and the grain for the carbon fiber on the stereo would be going this way and the grain for the carbon fiber on the console would be going this way i'd much rather have the grain moving the same direction so i'm just going to quickly take a look and see if i can figure out which way i'm going to need to cut the vinyl so it matches okay so here's the carbon fiber film so when you take a look at it versus the stereo, it looks like the diagonals kind of go this way. When I hold it this way, it looks like the diagonals kind of go this way. So if I flip it around and do it the back ways, 
you know, it looks like the same thing. It looks like the grain's going this way and the grain on this one's going this way. However, if I hold it this way, ah, so this is where it's gonna suck a little bit. So if you look at the stereo now, you can see that the grain, like I said, goes this way. Holding it this way, the grain goes this way, but this isn't the lengthwise, which means I wouldn't be able to do it all in one piece. So to do it all in one piece, I have to do the vinyl this way, which means no matter which way I do it, it's not gonna match with the stereo. And it sucks, but that's what happens when you order something off of the internet and you really can't look at it that close. But you know what, I'm still gonna do it. You know, it, it's just a minor thing. So maybe I'll rewrap it later when I have access to someone who has like a full roll and I can just pick the vinyl I want. So, but let's go ahead and head inside and get to work. Razor blade. Squeeze. Additional razor blades. That's cool, looks like some sort of easy spicer. And something else. Not sure what that is. All right. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is measure out the vinyl. I'm gonna give myself about finger pads length on each side. <laughs> this thing is off. Now, we recommend using just paper towel to wipe this down to kind of clean it off. You don't want to use anything that it'll affect how well vinyl adheres to the final piece. All right, so here we go.
Well, I just didn't, this is just from an experience. I just cut it way too short at the very end. Cause I didn't, I just don't. It's my first time I've ever done a vinyl wrap. So here we are, it is the next day. As you can see, we're kind of back to normal California weather. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this piece into the car. As you can see, it's carbon fiber vinyl wrapped. And I've gotta admit, for my first piece ever, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty good, especially from a distance. This morning I woke up, I gave it just kind of a once over visually. I spotted some bubbles in the vinyl. I just kind of pushed them out of the squeegee. And I think it looks really good. But that's also just the front part. You flip it around to the back here, you can see where I definitely made some mistakes. Now, when I cut this area here to kind of fold it over, I thought I was giving myself about, I wanna say about a half inch to fold over, but as I heated the vinyl up to fold it, it kind of shrank on me, so it doesn't even fold over this lip. So I highly suspect this summer when the car gets hot, this is gonna try and peel off of this piece and I'm gonna to have to do it again. But hey, like I said, this was the first time I ever did a vinyl wrap. And so I knew I was gonna make mistakes. Fortunately, it's not an expensive thing to do. That also being said, you know, these corners, I had no idea what to do with the corners to make them look good. So there again, if you've done vinyl wrapping before and you have some hints or tricks, go and post in the comment section down below. Help me as well as anybody else that's thinking about doing this project out. Now also a thought I had when it came to this particular piece, I thought it was gonna be a little bit easier. In my mind, you know, it's just kind of a flat piece that goes around the transmission shifter but there's actually a lot of corners on this. Now, for example, like right here, you have a corner, right here, you have a bit of a curve. And of course, this area right here. So as for wrapping a very first piece, I think it's kind of a good piece to do because one, it's not super, super difficult and it's not big, so you're not gonna waste a lot of product. And two, it's complicated enough that's gonna force you to kind of learn how to work with the vinyl. So. Like I said, as of right now, I'm very happy with this, but highly expect because of, you know, the errors with cutting, I'm probably gonna have to rewrap this this upcoming summer when the car gets hot. But let's go and throw it in the car and at least see how it looks.
So far it looks pretty good. And there it is. So tell me, what do you think? How does that look? Does that look better than stock? See, I can see what I was talking about. What I was trying to avoid is the grain on the stereo kind of goes this way. The grain on the wrap goes this way. I wish it was all just going the same way, but you know, it's what happens when you order off of the internet. Now that being said, what do you think? Should I go ahead and leave these pieces as the way they look as far as plastic? Or should I carbon fiber wrap these plastic pieces as well? Go and post in the comment section down below and let me know. And there it is, project done. Now, before I leave you, I do want to give you some observations I had because, well, this was the first time I've ever done this and it's my first time experience with this particular product. First thing is the Vivid Vinyl Wrap. I think that is a very good product, very user friendly for the beginner. I really didn't have too many issues. Just note that if you're working with this particular wrap, now I'm not sure if this is true for all wraps or just vivid, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure you give yourself plenty of space when you cut out before you wrap around for your corners to anchor it down because it does seem to shrink when you heat it. And you wanna make sure you have enough material to really lock it down because like I said, I'm pretty sure come summer, I'm gonna have to pull it off and rewrap it. As far as the tool kit, totally worth it. It's not expensive. And if this is something you're gonna start playing with, just pick up the kit. It's gonna make your life so much more simple. You get the squeegee, you get the razor blades, and you get that cutter that really just kind of slices through it real nice and straight. So I definitely recommend that. As far as the spray that you saw earlier, I have kind of mixed feelings on the spray. One is it did exactly what it said it was gonna do, and that is you could spray it on the piece and you can move the vinyl around and it doesn't stick right away. However, that being said, uh, one of the issues I had was it worked too well. The vinyl didn't want to stick to the plastic for quite a while. Now that might have been because I overused the product, that's a huge possibility. Or two, it's really not meant for small items like that center plastic. Now if I was maybe doing the roof, I would definitely recommend it because that is a big piece and the vinyl is going to want to stick all over the place so it would be good to kind of spray it down, make sure you position the vinyl where you want it and how you want it before you start squeegeeing it and getting it locked down. So that's my opinion on the spray. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button to let me know. It does help the channel out a lot. If you'd like to see more automotive, particularly GTR content in the future, go and subscribe to my channel. You can now follow me on all forms of social media, which include Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. And I'll leave links to all those in the description down below. If you'd like to support the channel, I do have the JD Archer shop. If you go to jdarcher.bigcartel.com, you can see a limited selection of hats, t-shirts, and hoodies that I've designed. Also, don't forget that if this is a job that you wanna do on your car, check the description down below. I have a list of all of the products and tools that I used in this job. And so if this is something that you're thinking about doing, you can check that list, make sure you have everything before you get started. And if you're missing anything, just click on the link and it'll take you where you need to go to order up that item. If you have any questions or you feel there's anything I missed in this video, or more importantly, if you vinyl wrapped before and you saw all the mistakes I made and you've got hints and tips and tricks to make this more effective and do a better wrap, post in the comment section down below. I will respond to you. I thank you all for watching and until next time, forget everything else, focus on the finish line.